Hi, it's Terry Levy and the Business Growth Guru, and today I'm going to give you some finance tips for your small business. Well, let's face it, to be successful, you've got to have enough cash flow. So one of the ways that you do that is you make sure that you are definitely invoicing people on time and collecting on time. So in my profession, for example, business coaching, business consulting, when I'm doing individual coaching or consulting or working with a corporation, I'm actually paid in advance. I'm paid in advance for the work that I will deliver that month. So that's one way that I'm always staying ahead in cash flow. I want you to look at your business. How can you be invoicing so that money is coming in on a regular basis? And are there any services or products that you can charge for upfront? The second thing that you want to take a look at is definitely how money is going out. So I want you to take a good look at where you're spending money to see what you can cut out. Now, the other thing that I have to bring up is you need to prepare as a business owner for a business slowdown. In some businesses, it's seasonal. In some, it's just cyclical. Um, you know, sometimes it rolls with the economy. I know that in my business, typically, December is a little bit slower and January is crazy. So you can be prepared by, again, managing your cash flow, making sure your invoices are coming in on time. You can certainly, if you need more cash in the door, plan to have some kind of a sale or special promotion. Another way to get more cash is to raise your prices just 5%. Not, not a lot. Whether it's a service or a product or both, just up them 5%. And don't worry, you're not going to lose people for 5%. But that 5% is going to bring a lot of extra cash in the door. I also recommend that every single week you are looking at a profit and loss statement. You personally, as the business owner, you're seeing exactly how much money is going out and exactly how much is coming in. And if there's a deficit, if you need to have more money coming in, then two things happen. Number one, you cut out some expenses. And number two, the very next, next week, you have to get aggressive in your marketing, have a sale, bring on more clients, more customers, or have a price increase or combination of all of those things. As the business owner, be savvy. You've got to make money to stay here for the long haul.